Other organisms in the universe how can we study black holes and exploding stars? James Webb, which scientists have only recently been using for months. They hope to use the satellite telescope to answer fundamental questions about the universe. The satellite telescope, which cost 8.5 billion US dollars, was built in December 2021 last year it was launched from the Earth and it is destined to reach the solar orbit by July 2022 arrived and started to use. Among the scientists who will study this is Cardiff University in Wales, UK researchers are also involved, and they are the great black holes in the universe. It's about to explode he said that they would search for and study planets that could be habitable to stars and life. How to study other life in the universe with a space telescope. Dr. Subhajit Sarka said that it would be exciting to use the James West telescope to study whether there are planets that are capable of life. Dr. Subraj Sarka is a lecturer in physics and astronomy at Cardiff University. From what was previously thought to be nine planets in the solar system, the last planet Pluto was no longer considered a planet, so Neptune became the last planet. Another scientist who will be studying with Dr. Sake is Niku Madhusudan from the University of Cambridge. The two of them will use James Webb to further study K218d, a planet 124 million light years away from Earth, which was initially thought to be suitable for life. In studying the planets outside the solar system, where humans live on Earth, it is said that only those planets cannot be separated and studied through a separate telescope. It is said that because these planets also orbit the Sun like the Earth, it is difficult to distinguish a single planet due to the bright light of the star they orbit. As for Dr. Saka, they said that they must wait for the time when the planet they have chosen to study passes in front of the star it is orbiting. At the time of this passage, the telescope will be able to estimate the size of the planet by looking at the position where the starlight will be slightly reduced. If there are different molecules in the atmosphere layer of that planet, you will also see different light absorption rates at different low and high frequencies, said Dr. Sarka. By knowing the conditions of different light wavelengths, Scientists will be able to know what is composed of the atmosphere of a planet, and they will also be able to predict whether there is water that is important for the existence of life through it. Dr. Sakar said that according to the statistical record of the possibility of various conditions in the vast universe, it can be said with almost certainty that there is some kind of life somewhere. But what is really uncertain is the probability of the place where life exists. The condition of whether there is water is important in deciding whether or not these organisms exist, and it is necessary for the water to be in a liquid state and not too cold. Dr. Sakar said that K218b was chosen to study because its distance from its star is far enough for life to exist. The distance of this planet from the star it orbits is enough for liquid water to exist on this planet, and they are excited to find a planet that can have water, said Dr. Sakar. What else has the James Webb Telescope discovered? Before James Webb, the world's space scientists had to rely on the Hubble Space Telescope, but the current telescope has different capabilities than Hubble and can see further away rather than replace it. But the James Webb Telescope is an infrared-based telescope that doesn't look with ordinary light. It is said that since this is an infrared-based telescope, it can see much farther, and it can also see through particles in space. It is because of this ability that this telescope is used, said Dr. Tim Davis from Cardiff University. 
Dr. Tim Davis will use the James Webb Telescope to study the supermassive black holes at the center of star clusters in the very distant universe. It is said that these black holes have such a strong gravity that they can even absorb light rays, and after being absorbed by this gravity, they often release a lot of energy into the surrounding environment. Due to the strong gravitational force, objects are tangled around these black holes, so infrared-based penetration studies are needed. By studying these positions, we will be able to learn how the large clusters of stars that revolve around these black holes gradually change, Dr. Davis said. Dr. Mikiko Matsura of Cardiff University says he will use James Webb to study stars that are about to explode. He will study the positions of supermassive stars when they expire and explode, turning into a ball of fire and twirling a lot of nearby objects. Dr. Mikiko Masura said that he knew that he would be better off using James Webb to study what he wanted to study, but that the information he had so far was already interesting. What else has the James Webb Telescope discovered? From what was previously thought to be nine planets in the solar system, the last planet Pluto was no longer considered a planet, so Neptune became the last planet. The planet Pluto has overlaps with other asteroids path around the Sun and does not have a separate path around the Sun. In addition, Asteroids almost as big as Pluto have been found in the region of the Kuiper Belt at the far end of the solar system. The last detailed image of Neptune was taken in 1989 when the Voyager 2 satellite passed by, and now James Webb have taken this detailed photo. This image shows that Neptune has rings around it, just like Saturn, and scientists are continuing to decipher the information that wavelengths of light that have never been seen before. Using James Webb, scientists expect to be able to see the situation a hundred million years after the Big Bang, and by studying this, we can study the future potential of the current universe. The Hubble Space Telescope found about 10 billion similar star clusters, such as the Milky Way, which is a small part of the solar system that includes the Earth, and it is estimated that at least another 10 billion can be found using James Webb. How powerful is the James Webb Telescope? The James Webb Satellite Telescope can detect up to 13.5 billion light years away, so scientists will be able to study the state of the stars in the universe 13.5 billion years ago. When the James Webb Telescope was first operational, the first space photograph sent back to Earth showed billions of stars from 2 million light years away. However, the amount that this telescope actually showed would be as small as a normal person's view of a grain of sand in the sky. The previously named Hubble Space Telescope was able to take pictures of space from a similar distance. But the first image sent by James Webb is said to be the deepest and most detailed record of the universe ever taken by humans.